Russia is involved in a large-scale fire at a metallurgic plant in Germany. Foreign intelligence officers have concrete evidence of Russian involvement in a large-scale fire at a metallurgic plant in Germany. Russia was involved in a major fire, the Deal Metal Applications Metallurgic Plant in Berlin, which occurred in early May. BILD reports this with reference to its sources. According to BILD, one of the foreign intelligence services informed the German intelligence services that the fire was the result of Russian sabotage. Foreign intelligence officers have concrete evidence of Russia's involvement, publication rights. According to BILD, German authorities are now studying this data. As the publication notes, it is unclear why a metallurgic plant was chosen rather than a military plant. Perhaps the target was the capital of Germany. At the beginning of May, a large-scale fire occurred in the south of Berlin. The Deal Metal Applications metallurgic plant caught fire, sending a cloud of toxic smoke over part of the city. The Dial Concern, which owns the plant, also produces Iris T air defense systems for Ukraine, but they were not made at the Berlin plant. Metals were processed there, for example, for cars. In recent weeks, the number of acts of sabotage in Europe, for which Russia is blamed, has increased, jamming GPS signals and disrupting commercial air traffic in Estonia, the murder of a Polish border guard, an attack on a Russian political dissident in Lithuania, a hacker attack, on major hospitals in London, several episodes of arson in different NATO countries. At the same time, such provocations are difficult to detect and predict in advance, and there are simply no clear rules for responding to them. An old and used rail bridge caught fire in Richmond, British Columbia on Thursday evening, sending a huge plume of smoke into the sky over Metro Vancouver in Canada. The cause of fire is unknown. The nearby Oak Street Bridge was closed in both directions while firefighters fought the fire, local authorities reported. Firefighters arrived to see heavy smoke and flames coming out of the building. They got water on it quite quickly and knocked down the fire quite quickly but there was some extension onto the trestle bridge just to the north of there, said Grant Weinberg, Assistant Deputy Chief of Operations with Richmond Fire Rescue. Weinberg said he suspected the burning bridge was covered in creosote, which was producing the heavy black smoke, which could be seen from many areas of Vancouver to the north. The Metro Vancouver Regional District issued an air quality bulletin, asking anyone with shortness of breath, chest discomfort, severe coughing or dizziness to seek medical help. The fire was extinguished on Friday. This morning we will be reviewing air quality information and updating our air quality bulletin as appropriate, the district said on X, formerly known as Twitter. The nearby Vancouver International Airport, located around 2 kilometers from the site of the incident was not affected by fire and continues its operations, the airport said in a statement on X. Boathouse is okay.